YouTube and video marketing is going to be a big part of our marketing plan. Um, we found that using videos to show and explain what we're talking about and making is the best way to get our point across and um, having it be a DIY type self-help, daily life tips, hack videos, um, giving the audience um, a visual and talking in the same, you know, video platform is a good way to show people to be able to see what we're showing and making and describing. So, um, there's a lot to understanding, you know, having a YouTube channel and, um, you know, making your videos the best you can. So, uh, having, um, having looking into how to create a good YouTube channel, that's something that we found was very important. Um, and yeah, what we like to make our videos of is informative and, um, interesting videos and topics. So, um, the YouTube video will, will be on our website also in our blog, so people can click directly on the video while within our blog and um, staying on our page to watch our YouTube video. So um, our YouTube channel is going to be, you know, connected with our overall brand colors and um, style of writing and fonts and colors and all that type of branding stuff. So uh, when people come to our YouTube channel, they're easily recognize that they're at design and um, they know uh, what the videos look like and you know what to look for for my um, videos um, you know and then that's having good videos is what uh, leads people you know back to the website and the blog and um, everything else that we promote and do so um, one very th in uh, important thing you need to know when making YouTube videos is um, having good and unique quality thumbnails. Uh, this is something some people overlook, but um, having, yeah, like I said before, your thumbnails all connected with your brand and having a brand theme with your thumbnails can help people recognize which video is yours. So um, to do this, um, there is multiple softwares out there that you can add a picture then and to um, make your, th your, your thumbnails um, stand out and uh, you know, be unique to to your uh, brand, which is what I plan on doing and have started to do when I make my thumbnails and making sure, you know, they're the best quality pictures and um, thinking of how the thumbnail is going to look while um, people are searching through the video thumbnails. So other things that are very important when making videos or YouTube videos is having the intro. Um, you know, people, you got to let people know what the video is going to be about and, um, you know, why, why they, you know, why they came to your video and how you're going to help them. One thing that can make your brand stick out is using, um, blender renditions for your intro. You've probably seen these before. Um, I have one made, so I can also show you that here in the future. Um, I used, I made mine, I've made one myself, but, um, I found it was easier just to outsource the, the blender in so I don't have to rendition um, the blender myself. So those are a pretty cool thing to have in your intro. Um, you know, you can also direct people at this part to, you know, like the video and um, subscribe to your channel and all that good stuff. So, you know, you want to have a branded intro that, you know, people know it's your, your video when they click on it and, uh, you know, have it kind of be eye-catching, ear-catching, entertaining intro, and to the point, you're not just dragging on your intro to, uh, people just want to get to the video, so that leads to, um, the content of the video, which, as I mentioned, you know, having uh, high-quality audio and video is going to be the main focus, and, uh, besides the content, and people, you know, they don't want to listen to stuff that doesn't sound good, or, you know, they can't see with the, the light that, uh, you're trying to show them, so content is going to be the main focus and why you're making the video and um you know um the video content that we plan on producing is going to be you know informative and informational type uh videos and diy and all types of things so the content is that's why we're making this and um you know we lay out our videos ahead of time and um you know plan and um use different uh 
cameras and types of angles and uh, types of just different things to make our videos unique and incorporate our brand when making our videos and making them the best we can for our audience. Um, so, also, yeah, the outro can be a major, major important factor to making your video. This is where, uh, you know, you, you get your call to action in place and direct people to um, your website or your blog or to um, whatever you might be promoting. So, you know, if people have watched your whole video, they probably liked what you, you made. So, um, having a good call to action at the end or even just, you know, having them like the video or subscribe can be something that they can do to support your channel so um just you know if you ask people to help subscribe and stuff they're more likely to do it than just um if you don't say anything at all so important to have a good outro and uh and you know having a good call to action is um you know very important to making a video so also uh you know as i had mentioned you know with the podcast, it's kind of, they're watching your, your YouTube video and your channel, so they can't, you know, they're going to need somewhere to click to get to what you you know, your, your, your website or the blog, so that's why having a, a good YouTube description is uh, very, very important, and, you know, they're the first two lines that the, um, people can see, you want to have your website in there so they can click on it without having to view more, and, um, even though you do want to have the view more area, um, have a great description. Um, you want to describe what the video is that you're going to be just talking about and um, any resources that might be important to what you're talking about in the video or um, other, you know, links that they can use. So, you know, having a description, um, that's where you want to put all your social media links and your website and, uh, all your affiliate links and all that type of stuff that, you know, you can make a template for this so then you don't have to rewrite every time and just change a few things for each video and um, that's that'll save you a lot of time when, you know, having uh, making your YouTube description, but that can be uh, a big factor and if people are, you know, watching your videos and getting into your blog because of your videos, if you don't have a link to get to your thing, they're less likely to uh, just go find your blog, so... Make sure you have a really good YouTube description, and that's what I plan on doing and have started to do for uh, my website built or for my YouTube video making. So that's why uh, I'm actually, you know, on YouTube here. So this is part of it, and um, that's our YouTube focus and video content ma making.